to the first ever TFO Wednesday Night Lights. This is a show where I wanted to have an all-star panel talking about a great, great game. We had an all-star panel scheduled for tonight, but most of the owners canceled. So tonight, though, is a special Wednesday Night Lights because the panel is the man, the myth, the legend, Hollywood Heroes owner, Clayton Willis. Clayton, how you doing today? I'm doing just fine. Uh, I'm glad to be here, and I'm proud to represent the TFO owners in uh, in this roundtable. Well, or... not only do you represent them, but you represent the fantasy owners as well. You're, you're, this is you correct. Know, I am also commish. the fantasy commissioner of the TFO, um, and obviously I know what I'm doing. You've seen my scores, uh, so... I'm beating at least half of you every week. <laughs> Do better. Well, well, I think that also makes it makes you an interesting candidate to come on to any of these shows, obviously, because not only do you get to see the TFO games as games as an owner, but you're looking at the fantasy side, so you know the up-and-coming players. You, you, you really have your, your pulse on the fingers of TFO. Or vice versa, fingers on the pulse. But yes, uh, I do have a bit of an inside edge when it comes to... Um, comings and goings in the TFO. Uh, I'm, you could say I'm the, the uh, Tony Schefter of the, uh, <laughs> the of the TFO. It's like killing two stones with one bird. That's what I always say. A, something like that. So, but this is this is the the incoming of week four. We've had three three games. We're gonna have a great game later on here this evening. Um, but now that we're at three and zero, oh, there's only four teams that are, are currently. 3-0, and, oh, and uh, I, I thought we would do a segment here called Undefeated, where we talk about these teams, and uh, I know I know you, Clayton, would love to talk about the first team. Well, I would, because the first and the greatest team that is still undefeated is, in fact, the Hollywood Heroes, um, led by the legendary, the immortal Al Bundy. Four touchdowns in week two, did you see that? Well, what's interesting there is you said the team's being led by Al Bundy. Well, what's Jesse Ventura thinking of all of this? He's quarterback. He's, well, he kind of like spearheaded the PR for the uh, Hollywood Heroes. Jesse is He's on the helmet. a little bit uh, dissatisfied with the uh, amount of attention he's been getting as of late. But they've still been winning games. And in fact, in week three, he did manage to get a little bit of face time of his own when he ran one into the end zone. Uh, so he's he's been okay. He's also been on the marketing trail, marketing Jesse Ventura's chewing tobacco, true, which so. has been flying off the shelves and doing phenomenally. Yeah, he's got to rest a little bit, so Al's got to take try. I got there. I got you. Yeah. So the heroes look great. A team I think that looks great that's undefeated is Venture Industry. Uh, they're three and oh, they're part of the Mad Snap. They got some hard teams in that division, like the um, World's Warriors and the Hall of Famers. And so, mm -hmm. you know, they're not escaping those hard matchups. Uh, this is a team owned by Steve uh, in season two. He had the Duckburg money bags, was able to get a playoff spot. Last season, he retooled stuff with the Exo Squad aggressors, and unfortunately, they just didn't do good. Uh, I mean, their quarterback has the most interceptions in TFO history, so you don't want to be known for that. Exo Armor is a very inferior technology. It's so, so slow I'm not, I'm not to the maintenance was, that's required it on it. It was horrible. But the upgrade to, with uh, Venture Tech this year has been great. Uh, Brock Sampson, uh, leading beast. scorer in the, the TFO beast at this Brock point. Sampson. Um, he's been doing very well. Now, you know who I like? Monarch on the defense. He is tied as one of the leading sackers right now. I believe the with The mighty Monarch. Yeah, the Monarch. And I mean, he's monarch. Lead, he's leading that. That's much better. He's leading that defense. So that's a that's a hell of a one-two punch there for venture industry. Absolutely. Uh, the third uh, undefeated team at this time is one of the teams we will see later tonight. The Eight Bit Brigade, uh, brigade, brigade. owned by uh, Vintage Game Vikings John Baylog. Uh, Obviously, Ryu Hayabusa has been a heavy part of their offense, uh, as in the offseason he was uh, renegotiated a contract for quite a bit more money, and uh, it's it's paid off uh, because he's really performed on the field. Um, the other thing that's been really good for them is their defense. Oh, yeah, their defense has been great. Absolutely. Like, uh, I think they're number five in the league right now, and but Baylog's been known to make defensive teams, and he went to the championship with a defensive team. Absolutely. So he knows what he's doing. Defense wins championships. So uh, one team that would sort of agree with that but disagree on the whole would be 
the last undefeated team, the All-American Alkies. They're 3-0. and They just look as dominant as ever. We know that Kevin spares no expense on those players to make them souped up. And, you know, his backups are usually not that great. But as long as, you know, they can survive injury, the problem they've been having is they've been injured. The Absolutely. good thing is... They've been winning games injured. They have. Uh, the the All-American Alkies are, are really a phenomenon in the TFO because despite the injuries that they sustain, despite the uh, obstacles that are basically put in their way, they, they continue to win games and be successful year after year. So they're a great team. Uh, they've gone to uh, the MAD Championship two years in a row, so they they're, they're no joke, so... You know, but that's our that's our three and O's. But you know, there there's some other teams that are out there. They're looking in. Uh, well, what's one team that you see out there that's not three and O that you know has your attention? One, one, an up and comer that looks like that they could usurp one of these kings. Well, a team that's out there, and somehow I have a little bit of affection for this team because they're the WWF Hall of Famers. Now the people keep calling them the Hoffs, Hoffs. and I find that offensive. Hoffs. Um, well, you owned what? You owned the WWF Superstars. The Superstars. Two seasons. The WWF Superstars are, are a two-season team, and then they moved on to the Hall of Famers. Many of the same players did, in fact, uh, move, move over, over to the, the team, make the transition, um, because, well, uh, to be honest, the Superstars were full of Hall of Famers. So uh, the Hall of Famers have been doing extremely well this year on both the offensive and decent, excuse me, defensive sides mm -hmm. of the ball. Uh, particularly in week three, uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan is no macho man, Randy no, Savage. No, he is not. By far. And in an offense geared around three quarterback sneaks, Hacksaw had what it took to get it done against oh. one of the better teams in the league this, this year. Uh, the, I forget who they played, but I do remember they were a pretty decent team. Yeah, oh man, it was 24 to 28. I know the score. Ah oh man, you'd put me on the spot there. Hey, you know what? It's, yeah, I don't know. Oh well. But no, I agree with all that kind of stuff because the Hall of Famers are a badass team. So. Absolutely. A, te a team that I uh, think that really is, it it's weird to think of them as an underdog, but kind of after their week one performance, a lot of people were seeing the beer gods is not what they used to be. I mean, they lost kind of handedly. I, I think Evil Dave even said on the boards it was the worst loss he had ever suffered to the South Jersey Slashers, who actually were in the beer gods division originally. Yes. And then they've moved divisions. They're back with the old logo, but a new fire. And so uh, they looked hot as hell, and the beer gods looked not. And I think some people wrote them off. And uh, really, after week two, Dumande, the Dominator, reappeared. And he uh, showed his dominance by scoring so many points, fantasy, touchdowns, whatever points you want to go by. And Rogue Dead Guys looked solid. Um, the uh, Arrogant Bastard reappeared last or last week week three dave proclaimed him as returned so i think maybe the, these beers had to take a little bit of time to brew and now that they're back there we know how dominant the beer gods are yeah well i mean uh bottle aging is a thing nowadays so uh it, it does sometimes take a while for a beer to become a little bit better so uh i am glad to see them doing well after a uh, old rival took advantage of them in week one i'm excited to see that rivalry continue even though they're not a divisional uh, yeah. opponent anymore but you know you, you got to keep your your hatred you got to remember those games that you won and lost and, absolutely and, and uh south jersey slashers i think they're going to go somewhere this season so i'd look out for them as well right now we're going to go down to the field uh and check in with tfo commissioner ryan anderson who is on the sidelines uh observing the warm-ups ryan ryan you there it's time well that sounds about right Oh, my goodness. All right, Ryan. That's an interesting perspective on this game that we're going to be watching tonight, which is the Greek Legends versus the 8-Bit Brigade. The uh, Greek Legends are owned by Mikey Davis. This is their fourth season. They've always been in the Mad Crackle. They're a balanced rush system. Uh, they're 2-1. They suffered a loss last week, like you were saying, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Um so does that show weakness for this team because they lost to that backup or does it show the versatility of the hall of famers? We'll, we'll, we'll get that answer tonight. 
Absolutely. Um, I could possibly be a little bit of both, actually, too. Um, and I would expect the Greek legends to be hungry after that kind of a loss and uh, be ready to come at it against this undefeated 8-bit brigade team, who is really on fire as of late. Um, they have now played in some very close games. Uh, the Their game against the DBZ squad literally won in the last seconds of the game. Um, by, so far, by one point, right? By one point. That's exactly correct. Uh, like we said earlier, Ryu Hayabusa has been uh, pretty productive. He's had 39 rushes this year for over 400 yards. Only one touchdown out of that, though. But, like I said, we've they've still been managing to find a way to win. Uh, some of the other touchdowns he's not getting are possibly going to tight end Jackie Chan, who's only had seven catches on the year for 126 yards, but he's got three touchdowns to that credit. You know what? You know, Ryu Hayabusa has some impressive yardage numbers, but like you imp- you know, you said there, his touchdowns aren't looking that great. Barry, St- Barry God Sanders, excuse me, Barry God Sanders, running back of the Greek legends, you know, he's had 37 rushes for 294 yards. It's, it's about a 7.9 average. It's not as great as, as Hayabusa, but he has five rushing touchdowns on the season, and I think that's going to be the difference maker here tonight, getting those touchdowns, just like Speed God Hermes, who has only four receptions, but has a 37.5-yard average. He's the guy catching the bombs, and he's got three reception touchdowns on top of that. They look impressive. One thing that could be a key in this game is special teams play, and on the 8-bit brigade, Kick returner, punt returner Simon Belmont has been reported to be coming back this week. Uh, however, the their backup, Crash Cooney, not coming back. But hopefully Belmont will be able to stay in the game this week. Hey, and on the Greek legend side, it's a very similar situation. Uh, King Agamemnon returns. Agamemnon. Agamemnon. I can never say it. So, But he's returning. He's their kick and punt returner as well. So it'll be good to have him back. Um, one thing that I thought was interesting with the paperwork here is that uh, Sky God Uranus, who is a uh, pro bowler from previous seasons, has kicked 12 extra points, but only one field goal. And that makes me worry. Is the Greek legends just getting into the end zone that much? Or is something happening where they're not getting in a field goal position? Uh, based on their offensive scoring in their three games, I would say they they just are scoring touchdowns instead of field goals. Which is always a good thing. I guess it is. I guess we'll see. I, I like my kicker to be able to kick some field goals. Um, both these defenses look kind of blah, to be honest. Greek Legends have five sacks and only one interception. Uh, their main sacker is uh, God of War Ares with two sacks. And Mighty Hercula. Her, no, that's not Hercules. It's Heracles for two sacks. That's his original name. Heracles. Is. Heracles. Is that it? That is correct. Mighty Heracles with two sacks. So. Now, I'll take exception to that blah defense because we're talking about one of the best defenses currently in the TFO with the 8-bit brigade. I just mean like sack and interception wise. Well, that's not everything there is because there's yardage allowed in which okay. the defense of the 8-bit brigade is ranked fifth this year with allowing less than 650 yards and- total. And the, that's where the Greek legends are really going to come up shy because their defensive rank is 19th. They've allowed 778 yards. The good part for them here, though, is that they've allowed mostly pass yards, 580 yards passing, only 200 rushing yards allowed against them in the last three games. And we know the 8 Bibricade is a rushing team, so hopefully that'll come into their advantage tonight. Well, I think the teams are just about ready to get started, so we're just about ready to go down to the field. Any last thoughts? Um, I think this is going to be an amazing game. I'm hoping uh, I'm a big fan of the Barry God Sanders. Uh, he's back in black this season, and uh, I, I just love him. He's a great ambassador for TFO, and I just hope for him the best. And uh, John Belong's a piece of shit. So that's that's that. Well, that's what you think, but uh, personally, oh, wait, you, you rooting for Belong? Is that what happening? Is this, is this well, me, Greek Legends well, versus I, you? Eight bit personally, brigade? I find that the vintage game Vikings have you know a point. They've they've come in and and been a very dominant force in the tfo outside the tfo dominant force three of their four teams are one and two (laughs) dominant force season isn't over yet and they're already fighting each other because they're all pissed they're losing to each other so only one vintage viking can survive and you just like them because they're vikings you're the scandinavian there is (laughs) there there is some truth to that Uh, I, i won't deny that well at least hey i'll root for the greek legends tonight you root for the 8-Bit Brigade, and we'll see who comes out the top. The winner gets a beer from the loser. Sounds good. Sweet. So, I'm 
Come on, Barry God Sanders. So, all right, well, let's let's go to the field where I think we're going to the. Uh, oh, well, they're going to show well, they're going to show we'll the go injuries. to this commercial break, Ooh, and commercial. then uh, and then we'll, where we can shotgun a couple of beers. Ooh, yeah, commercial time. I like this. So. And uh, then we'll head to the field. All right. A bunch of slap-jawed faggots around here. This stuff will make you a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus, just like me. As we're shown the returning recovered players here, Greek Legends getting their kick punt returner back as 8-Bit Brigade gets their kick punt returner back. And this looks like a hell of a way to start the fourth week with the Greek Legends taking on the 8-Bit Brigade. And right away we'll see who comes out on top of this coin flip ending up as heads. Oh, I know Mikey Davis loves head. So, and they're going to return that ball here. I'm, root I'm rooting for these Greek Legends here now. RCR Alex, hell of a kicker. Uh, most field goals in TFO right now with seven. I think the record's 14 or something, so he's looking. Like yeah, he's on, he's on pace to have a great, great kicking season there. Oh, wow, Ooh. look at that. Man. Special teams of the 8-bit brigade stopping them inside the five. Wow, on the one-yard line. Horrible, horrible places. We've got to give it to the Barry God Sanders to, you know, Move, move it a little bit so that they... Breaks they, a couple of tackles and gets an extra yard or two there, You too. want to be comfortable. You don't want to have to be in that end zone. Zeus taking it back. Hanging on to it for a while. He's got... Whoa. Just gets it away and avoids the safety. Wow, but he threw and it right into Blue Contra. And throws it to Blue Contra Bill. Hey, I got that. We got that reverse. Bill Contra Blue, I think that's what it says, but... Either I don't way, care. Either way, he had the spray gun or something because he came up with a. And there we go, Ryu Hayabusa up to the right there. Man, it's Zeus. Zeus was just under pressure. Look at him on the sideline. He is pissed. He is hurling lightning bolts. Mark Summers oh. back to pass, and Look that's a that. bad idea. Zeus starts getting pissed, and the defense starts working. How do you like that? Yeah, it looks like they're in shock. Oh it looks my like God. Mark Summers is going to try to pass again. What wow. is he doing? Titan Ronis, man. Zeus, man, just, I think he scared the shit out of them Greek legends. Well, I think, I think for whatever reason, Mark Summers has got an overinflated sense of ego and thinks it's all about him all of a sudden. Come on, man, that defense was in there like nothing else. Mark Summers doesn't want to make the same interception he's made in the past. He's got four interceptions on the season, you know. There's a good Aww. sack from Iron Mike Tyson. That's his second of... Grinding up and eating his grandchildren. <laughs> That's his second of the year, man. He's a, he's a scary individual. I remember the sack he had in the uh, Titan Bowl. He was he came out and, man, he, he ate those grandmas. Scary. There's Zeus, man. Offensive line Whoa. holds. Man, did it hold? Except for Battletoad Pimple did breaking it? through and getting that sack. Did it hold? That's his, sec That's his third on the season. Wow. Oh, might have a. Oh, Ooh. how was that not even almost blocked? Man, that was close. How? And here well, we they, see the returning Simon Belknot in his first kick return. They don't do the animation for the punt. Like the punt block? Yeah, they won't do it. So, but yeah, that was wow. That was close. The, the line just isn't holding for the Greek legend. Ryu Hayabusa with a lot of oh, green to run man. in there. The defense, first down plus five. The defense really needs to step up here because that offensive line looked horrible there. Mark Summers back to pass again. Finally, the offensive line holds on for him, but he can't get it complete. The secondary was out there. They were out there to make sure that pass wasn't going to be completed. Sweet. Ryu Hayabusa stopped at the line of scrimmage. Third and 11 here. This Lost one. Because the defense is really showing what it's made of here. I told you they had problems with the pass, not the run. Oh, but they're passing. Mark Summers throwing to a guy. Dies for it. Get it. Great coverage here by the Greek legends. They are definitely putting the brigade on notice here. Strong defensive battle in this wow, first quarter. What a shank that punt. RCR Ryan definitely messing up there as the they're about to, the Greek legends get about to the 40 yard line, and I'd say what 38? Zeus gotta make something happen here. Will that line that line go, Legends back to pass. Oh, guy got through. Oh, though. just avoids the sack and gets it off to Achilles. Yeah, Achilles. Impressive looking today with that catch there. He was like in double, maybe even triple coverage. There, get it to Barry Guy. Uh oh, Sanders. Man, back in black this season, baby. Bottled up for four yards. One of my top five uh, African American superstars. Uh, Sanders again to the bottom this time, goes nowhere. You know who else was on that list? Was Mike Tyson, Iron Mike Tyson. He's on the other side of the ball here. Two great African-American superstars. 
Zeus oh. might have been past the line of scrimmage there, but there are no penalties here. Yeah, I mean, the, the lasers would have made it impossible for him to have thrown the ball there, so he had to have been behind that line. Hermes coming up with some impressive yardage. Ooh. Bad throw to the covered tight end. Everybody's being covered there. The 8-Bit Brigade definitely got great coverage there. So, yeah, get it to the Barry God sandwich. Direct snap. Bam. He First score. Last season, I mean, he started with season two as Barry Sanders, and then in season three, he ascended to the heavens, but became white for some reason. Now he's godly and black. I don't know how you're going to stop this man. Barry God Sanders is, he's one of my heroes. I love him. He's, he's a great TFO ambassador. Uranus is kicking off here. <laughs> Oh, Love look that. at that return. Uranus wow. returning Belmont with an excellent return here. Gets it past midfield wow, he, and manages to stay uninjured. He looked great. I think that hospital pumped him up with Summers all kinds hands of it hearts. off to Hayabusa, who gets seven yards. You know, the more hearts he has, the more special weapons he can use against the opponents. That's right. Shurikens, smoke bombs. I enjoy the daggers and the axes. Oh, my gosh. Hayabusa. Hayabusa. That was great uh, blocking Down there to the front. five. And that, that's what it's all about. You, you know this. A great running back has to have great blocking. That's what it is. That is correct. That, that does make up uh, most of what happens in the running game. Wow, and there's a touchdown really? by Mark Summers to Jackie Chan again. We, we were talking about him in the pregame. Jackie Chan had uh, three touchdowns coming into this game. and That's, that's his, his fourth. fourth of the season. Mark Summers, not the best quarterback, but he's got that connection with Jackie Chan. But, you know, Jackie Chan being the tight end, you know, he's not your uh, typical tight end. You usually think of a bulky, stocky guy. Jackie, though, he's out there doing the kicks and the flips. And I've heard he does drunken master on Oh, yeah, you know, only when they're playing the All-American Alkies. <laughs> <laughs> So, but Jackie Chan's been impressive this season. He's been a fantasy darling. Absolutely. Game all tied up here. Barry Sanders with the carry. About five Stopped yards. Stopped after five. You know, they got a minute here. Seven to seven. A great slobber knocker, if you will. I think they've uh, they've really incorporated Barry God Sanders good into this offense. They need to keep going to him. Yep. All time to throw here. Just avoids the sack. Ooh. Throws it into Second interception. Contra Bill Red. I don't, Contra Lance. I don't red. Well, Bill, is. Bill is blue, Lance is red. But it's the Contra brothers, brother, and they have a one interception each. They have. Summers wow. gets the pass off. Ooh. Almost gets intercepted. Double that was cover. a terrible throw. Wow, that defense is, the, they're starting to light up because Zeus, man, he is Second and ten, through. what's going to happen here? Summers decides to carry it himself for some reason. The God of War Ares. That's his, uh, what, third sack on the season? Something like Left that. Left inside linebacker, well, hell of a guy. Coming up after this play, we'll have a brief commercial break, and then we'll be back with the second half in the halftime show. Oh, my gosh. Can he get a touchdown before the half? Oh, nope. So let's go to our break and then join us for halftime. A bunch of slack-jawed faggots around here. This stuff will make you a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. Just like me. And we're back. Hey, that was a great commercial there. I bet you think it was a great commercial. What do you have to do to pay for a spot like that? Well, uh, you know, money talks. Money talks. Bullshit walks. You know what? Money talks. That bum potion number nine that bum just showed up there. Bum potion number nine talks. I hear he makes it in, in the toilet. toilet. That's the greatest line ever. I would buy an alcohol. Simon Belmont, after that awesome wow. return the last time, getting another one in here. He gets it almost out to the 40. Juiced, man. He looks like he is out there on PEDs. And we feel off all those. goes to Hayabusa. One guy goes flying. Well, the second one comes in and gets him after he picks up. Hayabusa's Eight. not that strong. He's fast, and he'll hit you with that ninja sword and that, that slashy wheel thing he does when he jumps. Oh, Jackie Chan Jack again. Chan with another catch over the middle for a first down. You know, I, I don't want to compare uh, Mark Summers to Tom Brady, but, I mean, Jackie Chan is looking kind of like a gronk, if you will, a security blanket for he, the quarterback. He Look must again. have some, again to Jackie Chan. First down and more. And another more. Touchdown, this could maybe? be a touchdown. Almost. Caught wow. him at the two. He is definitely the number one receiver on this team that's wild and crazy kids wild wild and crazy kid and Hayabusa for you Hayabusa with the walk fan, into the fantasy garbage touchdown there there's a Hayabusa owner that you know some some moron that didn't take out Bundy and he's like yes that's my touchdown anyone who doesn't take out Bundy is a fucking moron 
say that until. Or they commentated the game. Wait till Peggy finds out he's playing football. Hey. Nobody, <laughs> nobody's, nobody's telling Peg about this, all right? I got my mom. I've got her already man. occupied. With he he returned, but he still looks like he needs to be in the hospital. Non-stop Oprah. Chain. Oh, oh, the O. The O. That's oh. right. Oh, there's very God Sanders with seven. I mean, I will say that he's not getting the long carries, but he is getting impressive yardage. Absolutely. Zeus going to take it himself Ooh. and then throw it at the line. He is, wow, what a catch Almost by intercepted again. He had the world on his shoulders, and he was able to complete a, a catch like that. Zeus man loves to straddle that line, doesn't he? Uh, that, He's got that accuracy in there, though. Barry got Sanders with only three that He's time. He's got eyes in the sky, if you, you ask me. You know what I'm saying? Back to throw. Him. Everybody covered. Yeah, but the very God Sanders. Except for very God Sanders. Who yeah. gets the first down. I can't, I can't blame the Brigade there. You know, when they're passing, they're looking for the receivers, right? Barry God Sanders is the, the runner. Get him when he runs. Like, there. Stop him now. Which they, they've they been holding him to small yardage. They've been, they've been successful at containing him on most plays. He's been chucking away, though, man. That's what you got to do. Ooh, dangerous, man. I was holding my breath there. That tricky guy was double covered. Tricky throw. I would have thrown in the middle guy, but, you know, Zeus got to make Contra the decision. Contra Lance. Red, whoever he is. Yeah, the Contra boys. Up oh, to Hermes there. Uh-oh. Hermes is open and wow. jumps up. What a catch. I think he utilized the chariot there. Or maybe Pegasus came and Those scooped him up. boots yeah. that he's got. Man, something. Little bit of God magic there, because that was a hell of a jump, dude. That was, what, 40, 50, 60 feet in the air? Pretty damn up there. I mean, I've only seen Buzz Lightyear use his rockets to get up there. Well, Hermes ties it up, and uh, looks like we're going to at least finish up the third and maybe go into the fourth tied up with a really interesting game going on here. It's been, yeah, it's been Simon Belmont with a decent return again there. You know, with these Wednesday Night Lights, I tried to pick, uh, you know, games that might, you know, not see all this the This was definitely a highlight game to choose. I can see why he chose it. Oh, Freddy. Freddy Krueger. This is that. Oh, man, he dropped. Uh-oh. Oh. And the legends, and the legends pick, pick it up. It up. That wasn't Freddy Krueger. That was my bad. That that's was NES Freddy. NES Freddy. Yeah, NES Freddy, because Freddy Krueger is in South Jersey Slasher. That's correct. But, you know, he was channeling the South Jersey Slasher. I thought he, he was, was trying for a moment until he... Uh-oh. Wow. Wow. What Another catch. catch by Hermes with two touchdowns by Speed wow. God Hermes within a span of... 12 seconds maybe one if in that the, one in the air and one on the ground both catches impressive no, I, it was about a minute never mind. He just, I, I, we're still in the third quarter aren't we no nope. it is the fourth we just start man that was crazy that was just all right man. belmont to return this kick a lot of pressure on this 8-bit brigade brigade's now. undefeated season on the line here wow. but they're oh no my gosh, oh my god belmont uh -oh, oh, who picked it up? Freddy. Eddie, that's Freddy! Wow, he's trying to make up for his blunder earlier. He's trying, and he's doing a damn Ooh, good God. job yeah. down to the 35. Man, I, I think he knew his job was on the line, and, and wow. He was gonna get shit on there. Man, so he really performed. Mark Summers, Summers taking it himself. Thinks it's the Mark Summers show. Yeah. You know? Mark Summers has made some, <laughs> <terrible>. <laughs> he made some terrible decisions. In Hayabusa, he Ooh. makes a good one there to hand it off. You know, he just hit that pile and couldn't get through it. That's a third good and short. He doesn't have the strength that he needs. He's got the agility. Important third down here oh, for the brigade. Man. He's got an open Mega Man in the top wow. and hits it. You know, Mega Man's probably their best receiver. We talk about Jackie Chan a lot because Jackie Chan has more receptions, but Mega Man definitely is at a great season as well. Like long bombs like that? Well, you know, uh, Robot Mega Man having that much talent, he draws a lot of double coverage. And I think that's possibly what's opened up Jackie Chan underneath. Yeah, that's, and you know, so when they were covering Jackie there, uh, they didn't want the short yardage. They didn't think they were going to go to the bomb. There's plenty of time. And that's the only bad thing here is they've left a lot. Oh, but look at the Agamemnon sucking Absolutely ball. Absolutely great special teams defense wow. there. They've just had him in the end zone. It's like Second they, time tonight they were pinned inside the five. It's like the Greek legends has to go 100 yards every time. Like, Almost. How exhausting is that? Very God Sanders with the Direct ball. Direct snap to him again. Third and four. This is getting dangerous now with 222. 21 to 21. I mean, they're tied. This has been a hell of a game. The fumbles have just been. Oh, man. Oh, crashed the defense there and got him to behind the line of scrimmage wow. taking it to fourth and ten they're gonna punt it away here 
possibly blocked. Not at all. Best Never mind. case scenario for the 8th Brigade, they keep them in the end zone. And Excellent. Hunt by whoever the hell that was. Uh, Chorus? Chorus the putter? Brigade's going to have a minute 36 to take it down the field and get some points. That was Titan Chorus. Uh, only three punts on the year. So that was, that was the fourth, Summer's right? Summer's getting about three yards there. That was the Legends' first punt of the day, right? I believe so. So, yeah, so that's, our, that's fourth in the year. So one in almost every game. Summer's here looking Summer's out. Summer's dropping it. Going to... Prince Hector. Again, bad decision by Summers. Man, yeah. That's going to be the downfall of the brigade. Every time he seems like he's stepped up, he's, he he's fallen down. You know what I'm saying? Hayabusa. There we go. A handoff to Hayabusa. Oh, he Who the coughs ball. it up? Ooh. But it luckily goes out of bounds. Going for it fourth on fourth and 13, long. What? Here we go. Wow. Summer's back to throw again. He's got someone open at the bottom. And where the oh, hell did he go God. with it? Fuck you, Mark Summers. Wow. How? Look at where they left them with 38 seconds. Are you, you kidding? You dumb cocksucker. Wow. Oh, my God. The narcissist with a hell of a catch. Oh, oh the team of Brigade being oh, Jason the from the NES Friday the 13th game. Holy ball sack and shit. Wow. Just needed to fall down. They were in field goal. Range. And it takes us to overtime on the first Wednesday night lights ever. Oh, I don't know what to say about what. My mind is blown. The right last now. minute of that game was a nuclear warfare. Holy crap! He went on fourth and thirteen. Oh my god! That's Agamemnon who has not legends had a win the flip. Season. Wow, a good carry for him at least. Actually, get a oh decent return this time. Don't get stopped inside the five. Oh, that was his best return of the day. The legends definitely needed that. Nice pick me up there after the horrible handoff to Barry God Sanders here, who yeah, that, almost picks up a first down. That's eight probably yards. one of his longest runs of the day, to be honest. One of them. Yeah, and only two They're going to run needed. the same play again, and it's uh, sniffed out easily third, by the brigade. Third and one, he got the one yard. Third and short. I don't see Big third look. down stop needed by the brigade here. They're going to pass on. it. Why don't you run it with Let's one do yard? It. Oh, Zeus, oh, tricky. Zeus. Tricky. Saw, saw the one of the linemen wow. pancake that defender look there. And just, oh, my nice. God. Into the 20, and they catch him right this in the red This is a zone. simple uh, field goal kick here. Oh, and they're not going to waste time either. They're Why calling, would you? They're calling out Uranus. Here goes the season. Uranus only one field nope. goal on the season. No block. so far. Is this going to be Straight perfect? down the middle. Bam, 2-2, two, two, and that's his second for the year. And the brigade fall in overtime. Well, you know, I, I, I mean, the Greek legends really – lucked out there because they should have been able to finish them in regulation and then they got the uh they got the ball in it, overtime that's what really what was the defining factor if you ask me i feel that mark summers was hogging the ball too much i feel that mark summers was a fucking idiot and uh should have handed off to hayabusa more than eight fucking times it, was it hayabusa that made the call there for the fourth and 13 was he because i couldn't see the coach I, I'm unaware of that. We might have to go to Ryan Anderson. Ryan, you're on the sideline. Can you tell us anything about that? Well, thanks, Ryan. We will definitely take that into advisement. I personally think Zeus's two interceptions were a huge story today. And uh, the legends need to get better with that. But uh, but they pulled this one out and found a way to win. Yeah, I mean, they really contained. Look, their number one rusher was Zeus's big run there at the end. That was their big rusher. They really contained the Barry God Sanders, who had at least 14-ish carries today. What a game. That's all I have to say. And Legends going to 3-1 and one and bringing the Brigade to 3-1. and one. Even in some things out here. Man, I tell you, maybe, maybe something to see in another TF. You know what I'm saying? I have no idea what you mean The world that. is like an oyster, and there are eggs that are in animals. You understand? Well, that's false because chicken don't have lips. Chickens eat eggs. You should feed them to them. All right. So it's been a good Wednesday Night Lights. I tell you what, we're going to definitely have another one in four weeks. We're going to try to have some special features during it, giving some additional stats, maybe have some all-star panel. Um, I'd like to do this at like a Buffalo Wild Wings or something, really, but it was kind of short notice because I had to get curry schedule. So, But that's how it is. So, dun, 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 dun. All right. Well, Clayton, thank you for being on the show. I appreciate it. Thank you for the alcohol. Thank you for the time, effort. No work. problem. And see you next Tecmo.